right. I'm pregnant. Take it, you haven't told John. No. I won't say anything, you don't have to worry. I'm not even sure if John's the father. Hey, you think Eli Clark coached Hannah into St. Anne's and out of a jail cell? Oh, I can't say that. Yet. I think it's fishy, too. Well, if Hannah really is sick, that's one thing. But if she isn't, she should pay. You can say it, John. If Hannah had killed my baby, I'd want her to do the time. Oh, I'm so excited. Your mother's gonna flip. What did Brody say when you told him? I haven't told him yet. Why not? Jess? I'm not sure he's the father. Why aren't you sure? How could he not? Don't you have to get that? It's Langston's phone. It's that weasel Ford. He keeps bugging her. Hey, Langston. It's me. Ford. Um, you know, it's great seeing you today. I was just wondering, can we do that again? Uh, just talk, okay? I miss you. Call me. Hey, James. How is he? 98.6, BP 120 over 80. That's good, right? Perfect. Great. Now get me out of here soon. What's the matter? You don't like the service. I don't have insurance. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Your bill is paid. What? Wait, who said that? There's a note in his chart. Somebody paid for all this? Who? The money was donated anonymously. Mom? Hey. What's that? Apartments to rent? I want to get us moved out before they foreclose. No need to put on a show for the neighbors. No. Did you give the 50 grand back to James? Of course I did. So you must have missed his jerk of a big brother. You may have given birth to me, but you lost the right to call yourself my mother when you walked out on us. Mom, Mom, where are you? You know, there's not a lot of um, two bedrooms unfurnished in our range, so... Wait, what happened? If you end up in a one-bedroom, I'll make sure that you have your own room. I'll take the living room. Uh, okay, I okay, want, but... I want you to have your own room. That's but, all. Mom, Mom, stop! What's wrong? I just don't want you to suffer f from my mistakes, that's all. What happened when you gave the money back? Look, wait a minute. Why? You have more lame excuses for why you won't help my mom? Look, I would help your mother if yeah, I could, Yeah, right. But... Is the hospital president still here? Who? Look, whatever, the person in charge. The guy who collects the money, you know, I bet they'd like a big fat check. No one at this hospital is going to give you false hope. That's not what I want. No, you want somebody to take your money and swear to you that there's a cure for your mother. And if they did, they'd be lying. You didn't even look at what I found. Danny, yes, I did. I've been to that website a hundred times. That treatment not only wouldn't help your mother, it could actually make her worse. Please, don't do this to her. Or yourself. We don't have to do it tomorrow. Are we you can sure? spend a little time planning the wedding, yes. Why? You know what? Now that I had sex, I would think I'd like to stick around for a little while. <laughs> what else do you want to do before you die? What? It's the first time you sounded like you believe it's happening. I wish that creep would leave town. Ford was a nightmare for Langston, not to mention what he pulled with you. Is that it, Jessica? Oh, I feel sick all over. Oh. Do you think Ford is the father of this baby? So you slept with someone else besides John.
to die. I just, I thought you might want to talk about living. You know, what you want to do. Like a bucket list? Yeah, you must have thought about it. I want you and Danny to be good to each other. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something for you, something you want to do. You know, just for you, just because. I hadn't really thought about it. God, you're pathetic. Yeah, I know I am. You want to walk on the Great Wall of China? Racing the Indy 500? <laughs> Eat your way through every five-star restaurant on the East Coast? Be an astronaut. Ah. Unfortunately, NASA has discontinued their manned space flights. <laughs> Might be a Russian I could call. <laughs> Do you get to eat five-star meals in space? You mock me. <laughs> but alas, you are the one without the imagination. <laughs> What'd you want to do as a kid? I don't know. I, I spent all my time studying, so I guess I wanted to be successful. Boring. Plus, you already got that. I wanted to be the first female Supreme Court justice from Manhattan. Oh, you may be too late. Thank God. Or a rock hat. You can work with that. <laughs> I didn't make the height requirement. Oh, well, that's a... That's a bribe-worthy problem. I'm sure they need money for sequins and high heels and top hats. I do have some more <laughs> manageable girlhood fantasies. Like what? <laughs> you promise you won't laugh? No. <laughs> That's the whole point. No one thought Matthew would walk again, but you fixed him! That's right. Now you're supposed to be the best. Like if there's any way, any hope, you go for it. Yes. So then I... why won't you do that for my mom? Danny, I told you before, I've looked everywhere. I've talked to doctors, colleagues, specialists all over the country, all over Europe. If there was any treatment, any chance of saving your mother, trust me, we'd all be all no, over it. No, don't you tell me that there's nothing that I can do. But there's just one thing. Go home and spend every moment you can with your mother. Who do you think paid the bill? Star's rich daddy. Why would he? Well, I don't know. The girl put a hole in you. Maybe he wants to stop you from suing. Maybe. Man, what a relief. Your bill had to be five figures, easy. Guess I'm gonna have to start being nice to Star. No, no, you won't even see her. Oh, uh, did you have a fight? No. I wasn't the one yelling in the hallway today. What? You wanna tell me who you were yelling at to get the hell out of here? Was that Star? No. Then who was it? And don't tell me no one. The hospital was no big deal. So did Ford give you attitude? It was nothing. So you did see him? Yes. Uh, did you give him the money? I took the money to accounting. It'll pay for James's bill. It's, it's gonna cost 50 grand to cover his bills? Probably. <sighs> Jeez. Well, at least you gave it straight to the hospital. There's no telling what Ford would have done with it. Well, you don't think he looks out for his brother? I don't know, I guess. I mean, he got in my face and I get that. I was the problem. I took his brother's money, but you were returning the money. He had no right to be a jerk to you. You never know where people have been, Nate. How it's made him who he is. Don't be nice about this guy. I have to be. Why? Well, there's something about Clark that just doesn't seem right. Well, he is a lawyer. Yeah, there is that, right? Want to check him out? Yeah. You look like harassment. You'll get in trouble with the department if he decides to sue. Just let it go. Is that what you're gonna do? Oh, absolutely. Huh. Let me know if you want eyes on him. Forget it, Diana. No, what is he doing, right? It's not like said anything. It's not like, stop! Honey, you're pregnant and you're a wreck. Been there. But it was different for you. Yeah, you're not alone. But do you not trust me? No, it's not that. It's just so being such a huge mess. Okay. Do you think I won't understand? Because I will. Not something that you would do. So what? I mess up in whole different ways. Let me help you, Natalie. Anything you say stays with me. I promise. I won't even tell Rex. 
So, why do you think this isn't John's baby? Right before John and I got back together, I, uh, I was moving to London. I thought that he had rejected me, you know, and I, I went to see a friend to say goodbye, and he was going through the same thing, so we kind of had um, way too much to drink, and then, you know, then we slept together. Okay, it's okay. Is it someone I know? How can you think this might be Ford's baby? You didn't have sex with him. That's what I thought. What I wanted to think. You stopped before things got out of hand though, right, Jess? I'm not sure. It's possible I did have sex with Ford. I've been Natalie and Gigi. They ducked outside, they're gabbing. We'll never get that. Seriously. We'll sort of talk about most of the time. Okay, so you slept with Brody. Yeah, you know, he, he thought that uh, he had lost Jessica for good. She kept saying that she was in love with Christian and that she hated him, and I was certain that John was staying with Marty. So it's understandable. You know, I mean, we regretted it instantly. We, we, just, we, just, we just thought no harm, no foul. And it's not like you were cheating. Exactly. But then everything changed. John came and stopped me at the airport, and we've been together ever since, and that was the night that Jessica remembered she was in love with Brody. Okay. Okay. No, it's not. No, I just, I just... I don't remember what happened with Ford, Kelly. Then let's figure it out. Think back. That's what I've been doing. The whole drive over here. All right, just tell me again. What do you remember? <sighs> I was in bed with Ford. I thought Ford was Mitch. I screamed. I pushed him off me. You stopped it, Jess. If he listened, the next thing I remember, I was at my dad's house and I found Brody's medal. And that's when all your memory came back? And everything before that is a blur. You must have been so confused with all, all those emotions. Come on, and Kelly. Coming back. Come on. Yes, come on. We don't know. What if he went ahead anyway? What if I said, oh, never mind. Let's just do it. What the no, hell? Jess, don't. I'm just being honest. Ford said he didn't have sex with you. Yes, but like you said, there was a police officer sitting right next to him threatening him with a rape charge. He had every reason to lie. And maybe I had every reason to forget. Damn it. Damn it. Jessica, you deserve to be happy. This baby should be good news. I want that, but if I knew for sh sure, then... Let's find out. What are you doing? I'm on it. Don't worry. If Ford slept with you, we'll know before the night's over. Bobby, who was here? Somebody who's of no use to you. I don't know anyone here except Star. You in the paper. You've got groupies. Shut up. Oh. Yes. What, is it good news? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna run out. When I get back, I wanna hear all about what happened with you and Star. Only if you'll tell me who you really kept out of my room today! Seriously, you gave the money back to a guy who I'm guessing treated you like a piece of dirt, so why should you feel bad for him? Life's too short to spend it hating people. I gotta go uh, meet up with the landlord. Wait, you want me to come with you? No. Nope. Don't you have plans with Danny? Yeah, but I don't, can change him if you need no, me to No, 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 go. I'm good. Have fun. So you and Brody just kept what happened to yourselves. Yeah, I mean, it meant nothing. It was a total impulse, like, you know, just a really, really bad moment for the both of us. I get it. I really do. You know, and we just, we made a pact. We were going to erase the whole thing. Why hurt John and Jessica if we didn't have to? With any luck, Ford is on his way over here right now to see Langston. And I'll be here instead. No. I will. Look, he has already lied to you about having sex. There's no way he's going to come clean now. Kelly, I don't think that this is... Don't a, worry. A, I've got this. How? What are you going to say? I'm going to tell him the truth.
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, no, then. Who, who are you? My name is Inez. Do I know you? No. I'm nobody you'd know. Um, I came by this afternoon to see you. Oh, are you the one that my brother was yelling at? You heard. Yeah, I think the whole hospital must have heard. So why was he so mad? He didn't want me to see you. But why? Hey, it's me. Uh, I'm at the park. Did I get the time wrong? Because I thought that we were meeting. Sorry. I was at the hospital. Is it your mom? No, not like that. I was, um... Wait. What? <laughs> I don't know what I thought. I thought that I could that I could go online and and find some sort of a cure that no one else had seen. Maybe. No, don't. Oh, God. Dr. Evans is just. I don't know. He was just too nice, you know? Like I'm some idiot child who doesn't get it. Is that Destiny's brother? Yeah. He's supposed to be good. It's not good enough. All right, look, you want to do something for your mom? I'm, I'm there. I will help you. <laughs> we could get her an engagement present. Wait, yeah. What? <laughs> her and Todd are getting married again. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Hi, yes. Hello, how are you? I am looking for someone at your bar. Yes, please. Um, uh, the last name is Butts. Mm-hmm. And the first name is Seymour. <laughs> yes, that, that is correct. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're a rebel. <gasps> oh, I'm just getting started. What's next? You, me, Daniela, field trip. You can't tell Ford that I'm pregnant. Brody doesn't even know. He's waiting for me right now. I want to know for sure what's going on before you tell Brody. Yeah, of course I do. Then trust me, you will know before Ford leaves here. What if I did sleep with him? Then we will deal with it. Or not. Are you sure you want to know? I want this not to be true. Then we can leave things the way they are. This is Brody's child. End of story. I don't know if I can live with that. You tell me. Oh my God, that's Ford. I can send him away and we can forget this whole thing. Your call. I have to know. Let's do this. Nice. I ought to try the bank it the other way. I hang out with Natalie too much. So the pros like to do me. I like to go my own way. 
pro, huh? She never mentioned that when we played. She hustle you? Nah. Yeah. Hope you didn't lose too much. John, there's something I gotta say. You know, Brody and I were just gonna forget that it ever happened. No one got hurt and everybody ended up where they were supposed to. This is probably an inappropriate question, but you and Brody didn't use protection. No, we were just really drunk. We weren't thinking. But you and John do. Yeah, but not the night of Bo and Nora's wedding. And the dates are pretty close together. Yeah. Exactly. I can't figure out the timing, so I don't know whose baby it is. Okay, okay. We gotta think. What? <laughs> Blew it. John and I were so happy. I can see that. And Jess and Brody are so happy. And everything was working out. And now I've gotta tell John that I'm pregnant. But the baby not might not be his, and I've gotta tell my sister that I slept with her boyfriend. Hi. I'm here to see Langston. Yeah, no you're not. Well, she texted me, and unless you and Dorian are holding her prisoner, she should be... I sent the text. Why? I need to talk to you. Okay, is it about Langston? Not exactly. It's about Jessica. I have nothing to do with her. Really? Yeah, I, I told you. I told her, and I told her boyfriend. What do you guys want, an affidavit? A, a, a blood oath? Maybe a, a blood test. Wait, what do you mean? I feel like I owe it to every woman that you're ever going to sleep with to warn you about Jessica. What about her? She has a communicable disease. If you had sex with her, you could have picked it up. Why didn't Jessica tell me? Because she believed you when you told her you didn't sleep with her. Uh-huh. And you don't. Let's just say I can see why you wouldn't own up to it. So does she have an STD? Hepatitis C. It's spread through bodily fluids. It plays hell with your liver. I mean, you can control it if you catch it early. Why are you here? The boy who stole your money is my son. Oh, you're Nate Salinger's mom. Oh, well, no wonder Bobby flipped. I mean, he thinks it's all Nate's fault. No, it isn't. He, he did take all my money. No, that's not the reason why you were hurt. It's me, James. You can blame every bad thing that's happened to you on me. What are you talking about? Did you send Nate out to steal the money for you? No, no, I would never. Have yeah, well, some parents would. I'm so sorry. Okay, but I still don't get it. It's, it's not about the money. Then what is it? Mrs. Salinger, what's going on here? W what am I missing? If, if marrying Todd makes my mom happy, then I, it, it's okay with me. I'm, I'm fine with it. Just as long as they don't mind me on the honeymoon. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't like to leave her alone for even an hour. God, every time I walk out the door, I just... I... Finish. No, no. God, I'm psycho! Danny. What if I never see her again? That's what I think! It, it won't be like that, okay? Probably. I mean, look, you'll have... You'll have warning. Oh my God, it's Todd. Why is he calling? What, is it Mom? No, 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 she's okay. She just... She wants to do something special, and she wants us both to come with her. Uh, okay, well, I'm with Nate. Can he come too? Uh, you want to bring that little... Yes, great. Bring him. We'd love to have him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nate's coming too? Yes, unless you don't want him to, then I'll drop kick his ass <laughs> out the door. Well, guess I dodged a bullet. Well, you can't be sure unless you're tested. Jessica and I did not have sex, Kelly. I have nothing to worry about. For you. Hi, you know what's bad enough? You have to worry about STDs. I never even thought to ask about hepatitis C. Well, you don't strike me as a guy who asks anything. Yeah, well, I will from now on. 
Thank you for the warning. It was it was decent of you, even though it was unnecessary. Like I said, who knows where you'll go next. Actually, back to the hospital to take care of my little brother. It's decent of you. Later. You were genius. <laughs> okay, I was pretty good. <laughs> oh, if you were just mean enough. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, you know, I mean, it's just the more I rattled his cage, the more he'd be pretty much likely to hit back if you had infected him. I mean, so, you know, there's no way you slept with him. Can you believe that now? Okay. What's on your mind? I owe you, and I know it. I wouldn't be a cop if it wasn't for you and Bo. Nah, nah. You were in the academy when he pulled you for undercover. You would have made it. it just happened a little sooner. That's not what I'm getting at. Hey, listen to me. You would have made it. End of story. You owe me nothing. You trusted me and when people had every reason not to. Paid off, right? Got my back, and I know that. Good. I don't even know if John wants this. I don't know if he wants a baby right now. And you know what? I think that's the only reason he was staying with Marty. And now I'm that woman. Whoa. You know, he's going to feel trapped. I mean, even if he does want a baby someday, this is probably way too soon. And it might not even be his. Look, I, I know this seems like a huge mess right now, but you just... No, but, Gigi, what am I going to do? It's too little, too late. What is? Me being here, trying to make it up to you and your brother. Oh, wait, I get it now. You do? Yeah, you're anonymous, aren't you? Excuse me? You paid the tab with the hospital. Actually, you did. It's the money that Nate found. Your money. But Nate said it was already gone to someone who was about to lose her house. I got it back. Well, maybe you shouldn't have. I mean, what's a hospital going to do? If you don't pay him, put the bullet back in? I mean, a bank will take a house. You should not have to think about things like that. Why not? It's life. So is high school and going to college and having fun. Yeah, and that's a nice movie, but it's... It's not you? I guess not. I'm sorry. Why do you keep apologizing? Force of habit. And I feel really bad. If I were Nate, I would have taken the money, too. But I don't know anybody that would have given it back. So thanks. Thanks a lot. If there's anything left over from when your bills are paid, make sure they give it to you. Here's the receipt. I would have given it to your brother, but... Yeah, he would have bit your head off. He seems very protective of you. When he wants to be. Not always. Bobby did his best. I mean, it wasn't easy around our house. Right, first of all, you need to breathe. Let's sit down and think. There's not really a good thought here, Gigi. I just can't. Chances are <sighs> it is John's baby. You and Brody were only together once, and you and John have been together multiple times, right? Yeah, so what am I supposed to do? Just pretend that it's John's baby, even though I don't know? I didn't say that. All I can tell you is that lying has cost me big. Okay? Not just with Brody, but with Rex and the whole thing with Stacy. I just don't think it works. So then when I tell John and Jessica the truth, and then blow everyone's lives up? No, because you don't know the truth yet, right? And it'll be months before you can have a test to find out who the baby's dad is. Really? Yeah, 16 weeks, minimum. I know this one. Oh, of course you do. Of course. So I have to wait four months before I can even tell the truth. But I've got to tell John that I'm pregnant because obviously I'm going to be showing. And then if I find out that it's not John's, it sucks. <laughs> I wish I had something else for you. I'm just sorry this happened to you, honey. It didn't happen to me. I didn't. Yeah, but remember, you didn't cheat on anyone. Yeah, yeah, well, that's gonna make it all better for John and Jessica. All right, well, listen, it could all work out, okay? You just have to wait and see. You want me to wait? I, I can't. 
Hey, Jess, where are you? I'm on my way. What happened? I left a ton of messages. I know, but I have a really, really big surprise for you that's worth the wait. Are you still at Rody's? Yeah. Be there in 10 minutes. He's going to be so happy about the baby. Oh, so am I, now that I'm finally sure that Ford and I didn't have sex. Excuse me. Christina? Yes? Do you have a minute? Sure, what do you need? A big favor. Ford would have lost it if there was any chance you gave him the disease. That's true. You know, his whole life is about sex. He must not know it's not that easy to get hepatitis C that way. Well, lucky for us, he's not that bright. Can we please stop talking about him? Okay, you are going to have a beautiful baby. I am. Yes. Oh my God, Brody and I are pregnant. Yes, yes. Congratulations, Kim. Oh, thank you. Oh. I owe you big time. No, no, you don't. Just name the baby after me. <laughs> really? I mean, Kelly could work whether it's a boy or a girl. It sure can. I'm so glad you're here. Wow. Me too. Come on, give your guy good news. Oh, All right. He's gonna be so excited. Could you um, set up a blood test for me? That shouldn't be a problem. Why do you want a test? I might have picked up a virus. Uh, hepatitis C. Okay, well, thanks. That's nothing. Is there something else? No, just, just... I'm sorry for all of it. If it makes you feel any better, I stole that money, too. Yeah, I took it right off my dad, and trust me, he didn't come by it honestly, so really, you can stop apologizing. I wish. Excuse me? I'm glad you're feeling better. I have to go. No, wait, st stay out, that's my... So, um, I'll come by the desk and get the form for the test. I'll get the paperwork started. Thank you. What are you doing out? Did you see her in the hall? Who? The woman from this afternoon, Inez. She came back? Yeah, weirdest hour I've had in a long time. Well, what happened? What did she say? She, she started apologizing for everything she's ever done, even breathing. But I got the big answer. To what? Who paid the bill? She knew? It was her. That woman had enough money to pay your hospital bill? Whoa, why do you sound so mad about it? Unbelievable! That? She got the money from Nate. Wait, so Nate gave that woman your 50 grand? She is his mom. That woman has a son? Yeah, she's Nate Salinger's mother. Come on, take a look, it's beautiful. <laughs> Too tall, it's 102 floors. That's what I always thought, but it is gorgeous up here. All the lights, I can show you where I grew up. Mika, open your eyes. Come on. Oh my god, it's amazing. <gasps> and and you've really never been here before? How does someone grow up in New York City and never come to the Empire State Building? It's, it's a tourist thing, you know? I, I always thought, I don't want to wait in the line. I'll, I'll go someday. Oh, now you have. <gasps> what does anyone want to see? Nate? Uh, where's Broadway? Uh, the theater district over here. Thank you. You made my mom really happy. Well, that's the plan. Bobby. You shouldn't be up. Oh, okay, just go catch Mrs. Salinger. Why? Because you were a jerk to her and you need to apologize. Get back in bed, let's Stop. go. Stop, she's a really nice lady. She came back here and she gave all the money back and she apologized well, for everything she that- she should. Would it kill you to be decent? Get back in bed, you shouldn't be up. I'm gonna go get a nurse. She had another kid. We have a brother. Uh. Hey. Hey, you, uh, remembered I'm here. Of course, how could I forget? Um, can I just talk to you for a minute? Sure. Hey, 
Great. Are you feeling better? Uh, yeah. You didn't return my calls. I just had to uh, double check something. Okay. What's going on? I think you're going to want to sit down for this. Yeah? Big news. This is, uh... I really don't know where to start. Okay, what's wrong? I have something to tell you. 